The MTP is a passive microwave radiometer, so it doesn't emit any radiation like a radar does. It only receives radiation emitted by mostly uh, oxygen molecules in the Earth's atmosphere. Oxygen molecules are homogeneously mixed in the atmosphere and depending upon the amount of radiation that we get from them, uh, we can tell the temperature of the atmosphere. For this campaign, one of the most important measurements we can make is the temperature of the coldest point in the atmosphere. Now this instrument doesn't just measure the temperature in situ or at the aircraft level, it actually measures the temperature profile through the atmosphere. Okay? And generally speaking on this campaign, uh, the temperatures will be colder above the airplane, but we need to know how cold. And we need to know that for two reasons. One is that the fuel on the, on the jet can actually turn to jelly if it gets too cold. And so we want to avoid going into air that's too cold. Uh, on the scientific side, what's really important is to know the cold point because uh, the coldest temperature in the atmosphere acts like a throttle which controls the transport of water vapor, which is a powerful greenhouse gas, into the stratosphere. And so we want to know what that cold point temperature is and where it is so that we can tell how much water vapor is getting into the stratosphere and affecting climate change and global warming. The microwave temperature profiler is composed of two parts. There's a, an external or nearly external part called the sensor unit that has a microwave um, antenna that rotates vertically in the atmosphere and it takes samples at 10 different positions in the atmosphere at different elevation angles. At each stop on, in the elevation angles, it looks out a different distance, three different distances, so that it can make, uh, measures about 20 different parameters that tell us how, what the temperature is above and below the airplane at different altitudes. Inside the pressurized part of the aircraft, there are two boxes that control the MTP. The lower box, the larger box, is the actual control sequencer for the instrument, records all of the data on a hard drive. And then there's also a communications computer that uh, provides the communications to the ground over the network so that we can see the data in real time. Now, the data arrives on the ground, the, uh, the software processes it into an actual image uh, graph of the temperature profile while the plane is flying. and, and so. The, actual flight decisions can be made based on what the temperature looks like around the airplane. The MTP is, first off, it's a, uh, it's a meteorological measurement and it gives you the vertical state of the atmosphere and temperature and pressure. And that is very important for interpreting uh, other measurements. For example, scientists want to know where the tropopause height is, the transition from the coldest temperatures at the tropopause to warmer temperatures in the stratosphere. And the only way you can do that is with a microwave temperature profile. And, and so scientists want to know whether they're in the stratosphere or, or whether they're in the troposphere uh, because that help, helps them interpret trace gas measurements because most of the measurements are in situ measurements and you want to know whether you're in the stratosphere or in the troposphere in order to make sense of them. So that's, that's, that's the most important contribution. But it turns out that we can use our measurements also to study wave activity or atmospheric dynamics. And in the case of this campaign, uh, that is important because gravity waves, oscillations in the, in, in the, in the height of air parcels in the, uh, in the stratosphere, if you go to the Rocky Mountains, you'll see these lenticular clouds, and those are gravity waves, okay? And they affect the transport of, of gases between the stratosphere and, and the troposphere, or the troposphere and the stratosphere, that's called stratotropic exchange. And being able to study these atmospheric dynamics, which you can only do with the MTP, is a very important contribution.